we're back at it. We got the vanity in last time, so we're ready to put in like all the faucetry and the plumbing underneath. And we got ones that are gonna match the tub, right? Yeah, we got some pretty cool little faucets. Do the same thing, close to the same thing. So it's on the tub oh, with the those waterfall. Oh, so cool. So it's in there like that. Mm -hmm. See, it matches this waterfall. Headed back to the shed to see if I could find some more bottles for our earth bag bottle wall that we're doing around the outdoor shower. The gorgeous earth bag bottle wall, I may say. Hopefully. It's looking amazing. Mom's come to her bottle stack. Yes, I got this, I have this, and I have uh, down in each of these barrels, there's a little bit of bottles. So we have to have them delabeled. But we only need them to label on two sides. I don't care about that. That will help us not to work so hard at getting label stuff off. That always slows us down. We don't like to be slowed down. Heck no. <laughs> Gary's gonna right. help. Oh. Put your arms out. I'm gonna load you up. <laughs> you need a box. <laughs> I'm gonna get working on putting these faucets in the, okay. in the drains. Gotta start with the plumbing underneath. Yeah, I'm gonna do the plumbing underneath because it's definitely the most daunting part. Maybe we get this installed first. Well, Garen's working on the plumbing for the sink. We have these medicine cabinets that were above in the old one, and we got a paint match that goes with the cabinet we just refurbished, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna sand them down and give them a paint and then we're gonna put them back up. These are pressed wood, so I'm not gonna do a ton of sanding. They had some paint on them, I'm just gonna get that and do a quick coat so it's not bumpy. And so it begins. Back at it with that, the blue van. Not only are we gonna do that waterfall, but remember, over the rocks too, we'll have that blue. So we have partial, again, clear bottles and blue bottles and Back at it! <laughs> and as you can see, the dogs jumped up on our work because you know, if you're gonna jump on the wall, wouldn't you be right there that yes. you wanna jump, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. My mom had this, and this little spout thing broke, so she gave me the bottle. So we're gonna definitely be using that one. That's exciting. How you doing, Ooh, Eve, what you doing? Oh, I'll show you the Huey pass to the mud pit and back. And it traverses up, over, going on here. So funny. Looks like he does go down here. There's a little bit of mud that comes out through the gray water here. So he's a big fan. Hey, you have funny pink chip. Yeah, you are, Yui. I was just showing up your path to the mud pit you got going on back there. Can I show him your fangs? He's got little tusks going on. You see the little tusk? He's a goober. All right, got them all sanded and I'm taking them back inside because it's freezing out here and paint inside. <laughs> Is it coming in here, babe? I've got my contraption built. It goes Ooh. on the first one. That looks good. And I gotta drill through the cabinet a couple times, send it behind one of these cabinets. It is very tight back there. So I'm really hoping I can get the pipe back far enough that we can close this door without having to modify the door. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> You ready to see if I drilled the holes in the right spot? You made it through, so I'm guessing, yeah. Now for the true test, though. Hmm. Is that right? Oh! Fits. Nice, babe. Wow, I was actually really worried about that part. Not gonna lie to you, I've never done that. But as a professional. But as a professional. It went rather smooth. It went very smooth. <laughs> we decided that the inside, it was that old wooden stuff, kind of dingy, and the white is always really nice. It just brightens up the cabinet so you can always see inside and everything. So now it's time to paint up the lovely outside. <laughs> it looks really bad right now. I'm a very messy painter, so I'm gonna masking tape the mirror. Hopefully this covers better than the white. The white took three coats. Oh yeah. Da -da. 
know it looks like you're making? This railway. I think to you it does, and I appreciate that point of view. Or, or maybe a snake. You always try to engage with us when we're so focused on getting the bottles up. But Just like we'll don't mess time me. engaging that. What do you think, like that? Oh, that's beautiful. I'll throw some stuff up there, and that's where we'll put it then. Okay. Very cool. It's looking fun. Wow, yeah, this wall is just looking beautiful. So while they were doing the bottles, I was sitting over there with a drink and a lawn chair. No. I, I uh, put in some ledges here for the next day when they come back through to bottle it. They'll have a nice ledge for these two bottles on this side to go down. Having the nice thick base is going to be really important for building stuff on top. We're fine getting one in there, no problem. But that leaves us with a very thin edge to try to keep a bottle up. Bryson's ledge idea is just a stroke of genius. We have the rocks and then the bottles that will travel up. And no, actually those bottles will travel all the way around here. I'm really liking it. I think Mom's color palette is just perfect and it's really coming together, I think. These things look awesome, darling. Yeah, they coated up really good. They look brand new, don't they? They do. Looks like they were meant to be that way. Perfect. <laughs> They're still wet. You can put this. The drainage side's all done. Now I'm gonna be putting in the faucets. Pretty straightforward. Hopefully. Famous last words, huh? Yep. Okay. That looks so good. Yeah. Next one. Yes. Okay, turn them on for the first time, see how many leaks we got. Oh boy. Let's see if I got the right ones on where too. No leaks there. Let's see. I'm pink, Rosalia. Now that the faucets are done and that's plumbed up, I'm gonna move over to the toilet and start figuring that out. I have to raise the flange up. A little bit of work on that to get the flange ready and then I can set the wax ring, toilet, etc. Let's see if our toilet is gonna fit in there. Should. You want to drop that? Is this covered under the warranty? <laughs> Good. Let's see there. What are you trying to help from? <laughs> this one's gonna work good here. Get this flanging fixed. That's our studio, that's Bryson's house, Garen's, mine, and our bottle wall is over on the other side. What you doing, Dad? Watering down our pile here so that when it's time to scoop it up, it'll all be watered down. Still got a little bit left of earth bag on the outdoor bathtub area. Yeah. We have a rainwater container out there by the dirt pile, so we can actually just wet down the dirt and mix it with the skid steer and we can get large scoops of freshly mixed dirt so that Brie doesn't have to use a shovel and constantly mix up the dirt afterwards. We can actually mix it before we bring it over. I'm deciding how short I am and if I could fit between that tree and that wall. Oh yeah, you're acrobatic. I'm honestly just thinking about standing on the ladder and doing it piece by piece like what we did with the bottles. Oh yeah, we could do that. Because I don't think that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I could stand on the tub on the other side to do this corner, please. That sounds good. Gary is going up into the bucket, scaring us all. What are you doing, Gary? Uh, okay? Nothing. You okay? Hanging around. I ain't got much to do. You know, I could have lowered the bucket so you could have got in it and then I could have taken you out. <laughs> Should we see if the toilet turns on? Here goes nothing. Oh. See if there's any leaks here. Looks good. Let's try the flush. I do believe we have a functioning toilet. Nice. I don't see any water just pouring out around the base. <laughs> so that's a good sign, right? I think so. One toilet installed. 
One sink installed, almost. I gotta glue everything back together. I still haven't done it, cause you know, could have stored your glue. Yeah, Why would something. you remember that? <laughs> it's only the most obvious part. Test the drain system out. That guy going. I don't see any leaks. Not oh, this guy. Well, got a little leak on this one. It looks like I need to tighten this. Coming out from the top. All right, well that was an easy fix. The drainage system is all connected. They're all dry this morning. We're gonna take tape off. Let's do it. Oh, I hope this works like a gray line. Looks pretty clean, doesn't it? Yeah. What you playing with over there? That can't be healthy. Is that okay? Oh, well, there. That's a good toy. There you go. Good toy. Final little piece. Ooh they look pretty good, I think. They coated better than I thought. Like I thought, you know how when you first paint something, sometimes it like clumps almost? Mm -hmm. It didn't. It looks really nice. Should we hang these suckers up? Yeah. They should probably open like this, right? I think so, yeah. If we can come this way more, that'd be good because I can see that crack. Yeah, like that there too. Vases here when I went to go be with my mom after my dad died these vases came flowers that were delivered to my mom and the family That's kind of special huh to have those in the wall. It's yeah, that's a really cool. memory. Wow. This is just coming along. Look at that mom yes. What's your bets of this tree right here getting in the way? Um Oh, you're right. You know what we're gonna have to cut that don't trees do the path of least resistance? Um, sure. I think we should go recruit dad and see what he thinks. Okay. You wanna go get a bullet? Come on, let's go get dad. Hey dad, we need an opinion. But we need you to come for it. All right. This is a bit of a stumping matter. Stumping matter? So we're not too sure if this branch has gotta go or not. I can take the whole tree down, I can take the branch down. Another option is to put a tension wire on that and just slowly start pulling it this way. The tree? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. You're on your way to fame and fortune, or at least a little bit of work. It's much tighter. All right, as long as you don't get too carried away and split the wood, it's already a little bit damaged, so. Wait. Sorry, bullet. You're gonna have to wait a little bit. You end up putting it in there. And we don't want you eating any cement. We want you to stay healthy. That should be plenty strong enough. Does that look level enough, right? Is that too low? We decided they were a little low, so we're gonna raise it up a little higher. Just a smidgen low. This is not gonna end well for me, is it? <laughs> Those are tile spacers. Two person job? Yes. Want the level or? Yeah, let's get the level. Okay. Here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay. You like yours? Who is that? We gotta help Daddy. Can you give this to Daddy? Did you just fake me out? <laughs> One more, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's good. Even though I'm asked, I am so messy that I still have to do this. <laughs> Give it a spritz. Cool. Hey, that looks nice, huh? Yeah, that looks really good. Looks nice. very complete, other than the light fixture. Yeah. What's up, guys? We broke our glass that went in our bathroom. Yeah. We had taken it out of the bathroom so that Gary could do his remodel. And when we did, we put it behind the wood stove. Sure. It was the middle of summer, no big deal, yeah. right? And then I didn't realize when I fired up the wood stove that crash, all of a sudden we hear this big bang. So it how is, thick that is. It's, it's actually beautiful. It's super, it is beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna embed these pieces of glass all over the place. We'll use every bit of it. I don't think I want this in there. Is that, will that break off? And there we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's perfect. More stuff to put in the wall. We have completed a major step in the bathroom here. We have running water, we have a toilet, we have a shower. Now it's just like 
a lot of little stuff to wrap up loose ends. Really. The big thing is we're done with plumbing. Yes. Oh gosh, <laughs> yes. No more plumbing. That's huge. It's, it's turning out so good. I can't believe how different it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last row today, guys. Last melon. Can't peek over. <laughs> Give you perspective. I'm about five nine and a half, five ten ish. He's what six? I think I'm six exactly. So you kind of yeah. get an idea. Maybe how tall this is. You have to finish this little corner here because there needs to be a bag under the solar hot water heater. Yeah. The wind picked up just a tiny bit of this stuff. Blew it in my face. Now, when I like put my teeth together, oh! <laughs> you rinse your mouth out with soap and water. <laughs> Pass. You don't just want to spit out dirty dirt, you know. You know this job will really teach you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> no. No smiling broadly either. This is too big, isn't it? I don't know. We're losing it. It's folding under, so it keeps coming out right. This is half of it all the way built up. Not done as the wall done, but earth bags are all laid in there now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you did good too, Chip. Appears the bottles are holding, huh? Yeah. And I think the wave helps it to not just look like this big tall wall. It kind of breaks it up a little bit and it gives us that little roundy feel. And you can kind of see it's not the lens. This does dip. It goes up and down. I wanted a little rise and fall. Yeah, give it some character. Yeah. That finishes the top of the outdoor bathtub area. So that's complete there. So. Fun that it was broken down in three sections because you know, we can complete one round area and then it kind of gives us this little satisfaction of completion. There really isn't going to be anything now on the top except stucco on the round part. The outdoor shower wall will actually have bottles on the top of it. Mom's been planning this whole thing. I must say she did a great job. It looks just amazing. Well, we'll see, <laughs> but we're one step closer. up this week the featured design of the week is you rock if you'd like to get this on a t-shirt sweatshirt handbag apron all kinds of fun products that we have over in our shop as well as all sorts of designs and products that we offer in shop the link will be down in the description uh, we will not be posting Wednesday videos for a little bit here as we're working on an all-new Wednesday series so as soon as we're done with that Wednesday videos will commence again we really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday that podcast. Bye. Thank you. A giant blueberry snake. Looks good. I won't know any other leaks for a while. Let's see if she flushes right now. That would be a no. We need more liquids. It turned off. And didn't overflow, so that's a good thing. Should we spray the wood tree down with the hose? Go ahead. I really kind of want to, so. Okay. This make a tree softer. Can we be able to do anything? I know. This wall reminds me of a giant blueberry. It makes me hungry. <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. <laughs> We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. The start of the project's really fun, and the end of the project's really fun. The majority of a project is this middle bit. <laughs> That's true. Can you follow in there? Who's in the box? Peekaboo! <laughs> Oh, it's Azealia! <laughs> <laughs>